Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be the last video about the liquid liquid extraction and in this video we are going to talk about one thing that we can do to speed up the process and help us um, get results easier and faster uh, than uh, what we can do manually. And this is actually related to what we uh, discussed in the previous video about the steps that we follow to do the calculations and that we need to use goal seek to calculate V1, the point O, and to calculate the Ys for the first line of each stage. Um, and this is, or the X, I'm sorry. Um, and this is a kind of very tedious process because in, in, a, in a case like this, you have eight stages and for, for, for this case, you need to um, do the goal seek eight times plus two, then you would have to do goal seek 10 times, which is, which is not a very nice thing if you are um, repeating the calculations uh, over and over. And that's why we can uh, speed up the process and uh, save time and effort by using the macros. Um, there are many ways you can start macros, but the way I, I like is to have something like this, any shape from, from insert uh, shapes like this. Um, and um, you can choose any shape, you can, um, whatever the happy face or whatever the face, but you can just put anything. I just uh, use the text box with the text calculate inside just to let the user know that what, this is what he needs to press. And uh, we have talked about this before. I'm going to revisit it because there is one, one thing that I need to uh, demonstrate here that's related to macros, and I think it's going to be very helpful, actually, which is, um, um, is going to uh, see, we're going to see in, in a few minutes. But we, let's first go to assign macros and then record and then press OK. And then you'd see from the developer tab that it is recording because it says now stop recording, which means that it's, it's, it's uh, uh, already recording. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through all the steps of the goal six that I need to follow uh, for the um, for the calculation. So I'm first I'm gonna here go here uh, goal seek this to the value of zero by this. I'm I'm not calculating anything new. I'm just uh, doing all the steps. So I'm gonna goal seek this is zero by changing this. Um, again, now go to um, here. What if analysis goal seek to the value of zero by changing this goal seek? It's gonna be kind of repeating the same thing over and over. Um, but I, I know it's kind of tedious. But you're 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 doing this only once, so we don't need to be upset with what we are doing now um, because it's gonna be one-time job. Um, and again, it's very important for the user to make the file well organized and to make the file um, well formatted so that he, he or she can, uh, can understand the file well, uh, find what he wants to find easily. Uh, like what I'm doing here, I, I put all the gold six in red so that I know that this is what I need to uh, do gold six for. And I put them all for equal to zero because this is uh, something that will make my life easier. So I'm, I'm done now, so I can now stop recording. And now the file should be ready. Um, bef before that, I need to save the file as, uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna make save as, and it has to be a macro enabled workbook because the macro enabled workbook is the workbook that enables macros. Otherwise you would, you would have some errors. So I'm, I'm gonna call it, uh, uh, or save it as a macro enabled workbook. And now you'd see that when you, you uh, put the, the mouse here, it looks like a, an icon. So you, you are pressing here, something is going on. And let's, let's test it. If, if I have this as 40, I wanna make it for instance 35. Um, you'd see that everything here is, is messed up. And, but this is actually, I have, I have a pinch point here, so this is not gonna work. So I can make this as um, 45 instead of 40. Um, and you'd see the, the stages are not right. What's gonna happen, and this is because the goal seek is not, is not run. Uh, so I need to just press on the calculate button and you'd see it, it did everything. So it did 10 goal seeks um, very quickly and easily and you didn't do anything. Again, if you wanna change anything here for the, like the VN plus one, it's 240. If you're making it 230, um, and again, you press, nothing showed up here because the V1 is still, it's not calculated yet. So if you press calculate, you would see that it, it did everything now uh, based on the new value of V1. Um, think of any of the variables that you have here, for, for instance, this you wanna make it seven instead of eight. Again, this is 
gonna change here but the stages are not, are not right now you press calculate and it calculated the stages um, of course you need still need two or three more stages here but this is not the point now but the point is that if you if you um, I'm, I'm gonna make, put it back to eight and just notice when I press calculate the file moves me to the bottom of the file uh, or the macro moves me to the bottom of the file um, but, but this is not th something I, I want to do. I just want to press calculate and see what's going uh, going on here. Uh, it might not be a very big uh, problem, but it's it's important for me because I want to show you something. If you open the macros, um, just to, to let you know why this happened, and you go to edit, it will open the visual basic file where it puts actually all the commands um, that you did, or all it records everything as as uh, as codes. So this is where it puts the code. And I would expect that I would have only 10 lines because each line of these uh, uh, represents one goal seek. I, I'm, I'm not an expert on the visual basic language and I haven't used it before, but I'm, I'm just looking at it by, um, by logic. So you'd see here, uh, it's, it's kinda, uh, there is some sort of uh, pattern here. You'd have a long line, which is kinda repeated everything. And it says goal seek, and I, I, can, and I can tell from this that it is, this is the, the command I'm giving to the goal seek. It says the range, uh, which is the set cell, and then goal seek to zero by changing cell this. So this is actually, the long lines are the lines that are of interest to me. For the others, you'd see that it's telling like select, scroll down, uh, cut copy mode, whatever. So these are recording my motion or, or the motion of the mouse in the file while I was recording, which is not important for me. And, and actually this is why it's moving me to the bottom of the file because it's repeating exactly what I did in the first time. So I can get rid of these um, and these these i'm just keeping the goal c clients because this is what i want to record <clears throat> i'm gonna end up with only 10 um, goal seek uh, commands and that's all so now the I'm, I'm saving it now and i'm now going back here um, i'm gonna try one more time to make this 240 for instance, and I'm gonna calculate. So it did everything without moving me back and forth in the file. Um, so this, this saved a lot of time. Again, I, I'm, I'm not give, uh, making this video to demonstrate anything about the, the codes or how to write a code in Visual Basic. I'm, I don't understand it and I haven't written a code before, but I'm just looking at it logically and trying to do something that uh, will save me some time and to, um, make the, the file more efficient um, and instead of going back and forth. And this, of course, would take more time in the, in the code running because you're, you're asking it to go back and forth, up and down and all doing all this stuff, which is not, is not useful at any, at any means uh, or by any means. So um, uh, I, I hope this helps and um, I'm gonna see you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.